All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you guys for joining me, and I want to say, guys, thank you. I really appreciate the support for all those who continue to support, um, the continued support from everyone who subscribed to, to my channel, and also to all those who are recent subscribers. I appreciate you for joining me on this journey. Um, I've covered all the regular boys um, throughout the entirety of their career and see how, how far I can go and how far I can spread this channel. But in the same sense, um, we want to speak about four MLS players and one US, USL players in specific. Now, let's speak about the Philadelphia Union team, the Toronto FC and Birmingham Legion. What about Philadelphia Union FC? Um, Union FC. I want to speak about. First of all, guys, smash that like button. Ensure that you subscribe if you're new to the channel. And let's get into the details. Now, the Philadelphia Union they lost the game one goal to zero. A very very hard fought game, tough tough game for them. But you know we have three key players on that team, three players that we're expecting to be in the Reggae Boys starting lineup. Expected. Um, you know it, it varies. It really varies. Now. Um, Andre Blake, great performance again, time and time, week in, week out, same standard of performance from Andre Gray. But I wasn't um, that pleased with Corey Burke's performance. It's not a bad performance, but it's not up to the scratch as all we expect it to be. But he did put in a solid performance. He did not get the goal that he tried so hard to get. Um, got off a few shots, but nothing, pre nothing serious after that. The next player is that um, Alvas Powell, he did not come off the bench and I thought that he would have come off the bench and see some, we would have get to, get to see something from him. He didn't have the best game, the last game out, but honestly I really really wanted to see him coming off the bench because we do know that Alvas Powell have a big part to play in our Gold Cup campaign and if he's not getting any game time, that's um, really 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 um, contrary to what we want to do. Now the, the thing about it is that um, I didn't see any injury reports coming out out of any one of the media platform. I didn't see anything like that. So I can't say um, it's an injury. Injury is the reason why I didn't start because in the same sense he was on the bench. It was an unused sub on the bench. So hopefully we can fix that one up and see how we can do that one. Now the next player I will speak about is Nico Brett. Come on, guy, Nico Brett. They, they face off against Indy 11. And Nico Brett and with another goal um, on the sheet. It's a penalty, but in the same sense, he's consistently on the goal scoring platform. Now he's, he's almost in, he almost at 10 goals in, to, in 12 10 goals in 12 games. That is exceptional. As I said, for the central division, from the central for the central division, I think it's the central division that he's playing in. He's the leading goal scorer for the central division. And as I said, people, once a player is doing well, once a reggae boy is doing well, I have to I like these guys. Because I will cover every single one of them as best as I can and as much, much as possible. But as I said, um, Nico Brett continue to put in the hard work. I'm telling you, those go that goal scoring record is very, very good. And it's, it's going to be hard to unnotice <coughs> when you start seeing it. It's like, <coughs> it's like you see someone do something for the first time and it's just, you just can't leave your mind. You, 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 already, you, you have already seen it. It cannot go anywhere. So Nico Brett continue to put in the harder, continue to bang, bang in those goals. And I'm quite sure your name will be featured at some point in time. Because as, as most people would say that they would, love to, they would love to see the best players in every division that is performing. That our regular boys should at least get the opportunity to be seen. And Nico Brett, you are really, really shouting. <laughs> you are shouting. You are making a, make, you're making a lot of noise. Now, the final player that I want to speak about is actually Kemar Taxi Lawrence. Now, Toronto FC got a total battering. They got battered. And I mean battered. In the same sense, um, if we should be fair and be critical in our analysis of the game, Kemar Taxi Lawrence at least was accountable for two of those, of those goals that they conceded. Um, he didn't have the best game. His ratings was quite low. I think it was 5.8 um, across most um, the, 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 tally, the statistical um, bars right across the, the, the evaluation board in football. Um, averaging 5.8, 5.6, that region. Well, it was not good. It was not a performance that I would say is commendable. Now, the recent uproar with Kemar Tax Lawrence and the JFF and the issue of coming into camp right now 
um, we, he did say that he will join the camp at a later date, but he wants to win some game with Toronto FC and put them in a good position first of all before he actually move away from them. Now, the problem is this now that I am seeing. Um, they are not winning any games. <laughs> and, that's, and that's simple. These guys are not winning, winning any games. Um, that's like seven losses, seven, seven or eight losses in 11 games. In 11 games. Come, that's, that is not good. They can't even muster a draw or fight out a game to get a draw. So you, you can look at it on so many different bases, but in the same sense, the team in itself is not performing. No, the coach is worried about letting go all its, its letting go of all its top players to go for the nation um Concord Cup, for the nations to play in the Concord Cup goal and um, Gold Cup. No, he's worried about that. But in the same sense, you have all your top players and you're not getting the best out of them. So I believe that Armas. Armas, Armas is, is he can be the problem, and I don't think that the players should be worried that they will they will lose their job because of the poor performance. You cannot sack the entire team. You cannot overall the entire team. That 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 don't happen in football. That can't happen in football. It is more likely that you they will move on from the coach. That is a more likely thing to happen, and then no you will see a resurgence in performance. That is what I expect to see, and that is a normal, um, that's a normalcy in the world of football. That is a normalcy in the world of football, sacking the manager, starting fresh. So, but the problem is that now, notice the players that he wants to keep on and hold on to. They, these guys are the top players, the top performance, and he's worried about letting them go. And the problem is this, you are worried about letting these guys go, but you're still not getting the performance. You're still not getting the results, even with these guys in the squad. So it seems as if you are the problem. It seems as if you are the problem. But as I said, how much games will they need tax Lawrence for before they feel it fit and feel it fit to give him the opportunity to go and play for? Um, but in the sense, guys, you need to remember that. The decision that Tax Lawrence made to play for a country or club, that is solely down to the player. Because even if it's a CONCACAF, CONCACAF rules on the FIFA, and whenever there's a FIFA tournament going on, and there's a camp set up, the players are entitled to be there like three days prior to. Three days prior to. Not the camp, but the game itself. The problem is this now. If the player decides that he wants to stay with the club, there's nothing... Um, there's not much that can be done about that. This, this, despite the club, the country wanting the player to come and rep, um, represent, there's not much can be done about that because it's, it boils down to the player's this, um, decision. Because in the same sense, even if you force the player to come and you decide that you don't want to give this hundred, it's got, that, that is going to be problematic, and you don't want that in the team. But uh, hopefully, the team can find himself in a good footing so that we can see Kemar Tax Lawrence joining up with the team as quickly as possible so people this has been military guna tv hopefully guys learn something get something out of that i'm um, not a good performance from Corberg. alvas paul was not featured in philadelphia union loss and andre blake did stood out again over and over he needs a better defense and uh, that is the only way philadelphia union can move up the table with a proper defense and maybe central area of the pitch the, the midfield area needs some working on as well because too many times um, but our passes are leaking through 1v1 with um, Andre Blake and Andre Blake have to be consistently saving um, the team. Now, in the same sense, um, Korberg, as I said, need to work on your finishing. Um, but we do know what you have to provide. He didn't have the best game, but it was relatively okay. Um, Kevin Tax Lawrence, poor game, poor performance, and we have to be um, critically analytic of that. We have to be, we have to be critical on when we're analyzing players. So, Poor performance, um, Kemar Taxilari. Hopefully, we know that, that that is not your standard and we ex expect better of you. But in the same sense, the team in itself is having a general bad season, which means that it's solely not down to Kemar Taxilari. It's not even, he's exactly one of the best players, one of the better players on the team. And if he's playing, and if he's playing at this level, it means that the team in itself really, really needs some working on. But massive respect again, Nico Brett. Please continue to bang in those goals. And you will definitely get your time to shine. Um, this has been a good one, people. Please remember to smash that like button 
and turn your notifications on for each time one of the videos drop so you can get it military guna tv people and this has been a really good one and guess what i am out